Hi friends, it is Friday, February 17th. I'm currently in bed. I did have my cup of coffee right next to me here. But I decided I'm gonna vlog again today. I just vlogged yesterday, but I just, I don't know. I feel like when I was doing Vlogmas and vlogging every other day and just so much throughout the month of December, I was in like a great mood. I felt like because of the vlogs, I was like motivating myself to get out and do more because I wanted to make content for the vlogs and I had more interaction with my viewers and I just really want to vlog more. So that's what I'm doing. I guess I'll start this day how I ended my day yesterday. But all right, let me get on with my day, finish my coffee, and then I need to go pick up my hemper box. My sounds to be hemper boxes in, and I'm so excited. I just love, love, love that my friends make videos and I can watch them and cheer them on and be obsessed with them because I love them. So I have this video to watch this morning. I have an Andrew T. Kearns vlog, and then I think Jenny posted a video a couple days ago that I haven't seen yet. And then I'm gonna shower and get on with my day. All right, just did like my makeup and my hair is like two thirds of the way dry. I kind of hate the feeling when it's like almost dry but not quite so it still gets like kind of snarly. I've been trying to not brush my hair when it's wet lately and I feel like I like the way my hair looks when I do that. So just have to deal with it finishing drying. But okay, I'm finally gonna head to my PO box and grab my hamper box so I can do my unboxing and I'm so excited. Also, I really want to put on one of my new, um, like, lipsticks, liquid lipsticks that I got, but I should take a hit of this first. Do you ever exhale too much before you take a hit? And then something like this is a really, like, slow pull, so you almost feel like you're suffocating when you're inhaling. Yeah, me too. All right, I completely forgot to put lip liner on. I have this nice, like, invisible one that you're supposed to put on before you put the lipstick on, and that kind of helps, like, almost seal the edge, if that makes sense, so that nothing kind of bleeds out onto your skin. Um, I'm such a noob with makeup, but I really like this color. It's like a dark... What's the word? Like, is it mauve? Like that dusty, dark pinkish color. I think that's what it is, but I really like this. Ooh, I got a bunch of makeup in the mail today from a friend. She just sent over a ton of stuff that she just hasn't used and stuff like that. And I'm going to send a care package back with a bunch of stony items. So I'm excited to put that together. But all right, all right, let's get going. I've been procrastinating way too much this morning. Oh, I have to move like two cars to get my car out. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with this lip color. I feel like I messed up a little bit on this side. Like, I need to add a tiny bit more to the edge, but I'm I'm a noob with makeup, like I said, so practice makes perfect. Not to uh, bring the mood down, but I do have some kind of sad news. My cat Jasmine, the Siamese cat, um, she actually passed away actually one week ago today. I had had her since I was nine. She was 16 years old. It, she just passed away from an old age. Her kidneys were starting to fail, but um, I, I like couldn't even mention it on Periscope or in videos the first week because I would just immediately get choked up. I can like feel myself getting emotional now, so I'll try to keep it quick, but I was so lucky to have an animal like her. She was the first animal that my family had that chose like me as her person. She was always sleeping with me at night, always with me in my room, on my bed. She would cuddle with me in just like the cutest ways, like nestle, her, nestle herself into like my armpit and just like have her head resting on my shoulder. Or she would sometimes sit like right on my chest and have her head in my neck. Or sometimes if I was laying on my stomach, she would just like sit on my back and I'm just like, beyond lucky to have experienced a connection like that with an animal. I knew it was going to be hard losing her. I knew that she was like getting a little bit sick and there wasn't much that we could do over the past couple weeks just because she was so old, but it kept me up at night. I was like so emotional about it, but I just thought I should let you guys know. So rest in peace, Jasmine. It's got giraffes on it. This is so fucking rad. Oh, there's a sticker on the back. <laughs> like, why is this not opening? Okay, this one says, please open in a video. It's from someone named Sarah from New York. 
Okay, she said she got this from a smoke shop that her dad owns, and it's called a camper. It says camper smoker. I don't... What is it? Oh! <gasps> oh! What? Wait a second. Oh my goodness. That is so rad. Oh, and there's a little carb right there. <gasps> I've never seen anything like this in person. Sarah, this is so dope. Oh my God, thank you so much. Oh, and she sent me some delicious smelling incense kind of things. Peace of mind, it's called. Oh my gosh, this smells really good. This was a card, someone like wishing their condolences or offering their condolences for the loss of Jasmine. That's so crazy that I just shared that with you guys. And someone sent me this. It's someone named Ed. I think I opened something from him in um, a previous, previous video. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. That is beyond thoughtful that you would think to send a card like that to me. Okay, I have no idea who this is from, but it says it's only part of the order and that there's additional items shipping separately. But it's a book, but it says it's episode two of a series. But it says, it says real life action in the great American tradition of adventures. Writers reminis reminiscent of Hemingway, Mark Twain, and Jack London. I wonder if anything else here is from the same order. There's no, the last couple things I've been getting from Amazon, there's no like, um, like gift receipt. Normally when someone sends me something from Amazon, you're able to put a little note and saying like who it's from, but this is just like a random gift. I guess I'll have to see the rest. What? What's happening? Is this a drum? Am I get What the heck? This is a literal drum. Wait a second. It's one of those that like... Alright, so I'm guessing these go together? Perhaps? I'm slightly confused. I'm not gonna lie. If you send this to me, like, totally reach out to me. I'd love to know the story behind a, a gift like this. This is so interesting to me. I got a little drum. Okay, this is a letter from Morgan, and I don't want to, like, share your story with the internet, but I definitely am close to the subject of what you're dealing with, and I give you so much credit for being so strong and learning that cannabis could help you with what you're going through, and I'm so happy that it did help you, and she also did a little coloring for me. Oh, it's a giraffe. Oh my gosh, recording that video got me so stones. Now we need to go edit it, though, and get it up as soon as possible. Um, yeah, I just recorded some, like, close-ups of the items that way I can kind of put those over the screen if like the shots on focus are just not that great which a couple of them I think weren't just imported all of the footage and now I'm gonna edit late lunch early dinner type thing yeah that sounds good there's a cat My other cat, Abby, has been my rock all week. We cuddle multiple times a day. It's necessary. She's being so cuddly. I love it. I've like needed all the cuddles this week. All right, my video just finished processing, so I'm finally gonna upload it. All right, video is live. If you're watching this and you haven't seen this yet, please check it out. I would love for you to see the items that I got to put into this month's hemp box. Hemper box. I said that weird. All right, I just put nachos in the oven for myself. I'm gonna have a refresher and then probably clean my room because it's atrocious. It's like 5.45 p.m. And I just uploaded the hemper box unboxing not too long ago. So I'm excited to start reading comments on that. She's so needy. Oh. I love you. Oh no.
Abby, <laughs> what are you doing? Abby drools when you pet her. It just means she's happy. My parents took the Keurig with them this weekend. Are you biting my pendant? Oh, give me kisses. Okay, I kind of forgot to vlog for like an hour or two, but I really haven't been doing much. I was just on the phone with Elijah, Slower Future, for like 40 minutes, just trying to plan our Las Vegas trip because he's actually going to be there while I'm in Las Vegas. Um, the High Times Cannabis Cup is, I believe, Saturday, March 4th and Sunday, March 5th, and we're only going on Saturday. But um, Elijah is moving from Denver to California, so he's just going to drive through Vegas and hang out with Kavehi, Audra, and myself, and Shannon too. Um, and yeah, we'll all go to the cup together and it'll be really fun. And I'm so excited to spend two weeks in Vegas with two of my closest girlfriends and I'll be staying at Audra's and getting tons and tons of content and videos up because like there are going to be days where all my friends are in work and I'm just going to be chilling at Audra's house and I'll have time to like record and edit and upload. So yeah, 12 days, 12 days. All right, I'll hit this. But I'm going to Periscope, so... I will talk to you guys soon. Oh, of course, my little shadow. She is like constantly with me, always. Say hi to the vlog. <laughs> okay, bye. Look how cute she is. Okay, back with the plum lipstick. I forgot I had this and never finished it, so I'm doing that now. Uh, in the process of cleaning my room, I procrastinated this for like a couple hours just watching YouTube videos and cuddling with my cat, so now I have to really get working. Well, my desk is as clean as it's gonna get for a very cluttered desk. <laughs> I did my hair with this little poof, and I'm kind of feeling it. I kind of like it. It's bringing me back to being 17. But I kind of like it with the bun, so I think I'm going to record a little video finally, finally smoking out of this swordfish bong. I'm hoping to do like a bunch of recording this weekend while my parents are gone and I just have like more quietness in the house and stuff. So I think I'm going to record just a really quick smoke sesh with this real quick, quick, quick. Oh my god, I keep saying words over and over again. Alright, I am about to take my makeup off and go to bed, so I guess I will finish this vlog off here. Thank you so much if you stayed until the end and watched the whole thing. I appreciate you guys just being interested in what I'm doing and keeping up with my life. I will be back soon. I recorded three videos today, including this vlog. I'm very proud of myself. And I'm hoping to record a bunch this weekend. So yeah, I'll be back. Stay high. Bye.